welcome to another episode of Nerf News. Now let's jump right in, starting with the X-Shot Insanity Horrifier Dread Hammer. Now we did touch on this blaster in the last episode, but the picture was not nearly as good as the pictures that we have now. So a lot of our speculation turned out to be pretty much true with this blaster. Functionally, it's pretty much just a Crusher or Omega. It's going to feature a 35 round chain, and it is going to be a manual springer. That top carry handle looking thing is going to be how you prime the blaster. It's going to have slam fire, and I assume just like the Crusher or Omega, the barrel is going to spin as you fire. So it's pretty cool to get a better look at it. It's not a very original blaster, but I do really dig these aesthetics. And we have that Insanity Line rail compatibility, which we did not have with the Crusher or Omega. So yeah, that is the Dread Hammer. Now let's move on to what we have next. Next up, we have the Nerf Deadpool edition of the Rival Takedown. Now, I believe this is the first Rival Blaster to be in this new skinned deco, and this is the fourth version of the 2020 Takedown. Now, I am personally a huge fan of the Takedown. It has been one of my favorite Rival Blasters since it launched. I really like the way it primes, I like the small size, and I think the capacity is pretty great. Now, this is up on Amazon right now for around $30 US. Keep in mind that the original Takedown retailed for $20. So, essentially, you're you're paying an extra $10 for the deco. Speaking of the deco, I do think this looks pretty good. It's very much in line with the previous Nerf skin type blasters. But I will say, I personally prefer the old version of the Deadpool aesthetic that we saw on the Deadpool Apollo and Kronos. I feel like those just had a little bit more character, and sometimes I think this skins deco is a little bit distracting, and in this case is not my favorite, but I've heard from a lot of people who really, really like the way this blaster looks. And if that's you, and you really like the takedown, this could be really cool. I will have the link in my description. Next, we have the Nerf Pro Gelfire Versus Pack. Now, this pack will include two igniter blasters, one in the original red color scheme, and one in this new blue color scheme. Oh, and by the way, big thanks to Nerf Taiwan for posting this on his Facebook page. That's how I found out about it. Now, in this box, we are getting 4,000 rounds, 2,000 in blue, and 2,000 in red, and we are getting two packs of eye protection. So depending on the price, this could definitely be a pretty fun package, especially for the people who are just starting out with gel blasters. Personally, I really like seeing the igniter in blue, but I will say, as much as I think the igniter is a neat blaster, I feel like the Nerf Gelfire dual wield pack from last year did a slightly better job. Now, those dual wield blasters are are double action and they can get tiring after a while so the igniter does beat it in that category but the really cool thing about that pack is that you can use it as a versus pack just like this one or you can dual wield those blasters these ones are not ideal for dual wielding so I just kind of feel like this pack has a bit more versatility but I'm not saying this one's bad I just felt like that comparison needed to be made finally we have the Adventure Force Arsenal X now this blaster set is of course being made by Busby it's including 25 of the newer Busby darts. Now this blaster pack is retailing for right under $18. You get a top primed and bolt action springer, two magazines that can also connect together and create kind of a flip clip as they called it in the end strike days, even though it is a magazine and not a clip. And while this is the Arsenal X, it is of course a remake of the Adventure Force Arsenal set. Here is the original set. Now I'm not sure how much of an improvement this new set is. When it comes to the top prime blaster, the newer one has a longer barrel and they of course switched up the color. Now when it comes to the bigger bolt action blaster I will say I definitely think the newer one looks less uncomfortable obviously the stock is not going to be usable but when compared to the atrocious original I think the newer one is set up better according to the range claim on the box these will not feature any upgraded performance which is a little bit disappointing but I am glad to see the other improvements even if a lot of them are pretty minor and Busby range claims have never really reflected the FPS super accurately like the original Busby 
Sentinel, which could achieve over 90 FPS stock, only claimed 72 feet. So I guess we can't say these are not improved until they get chronographed. I think a lot of people would really appreciate it if these blasters did have improved internals. Now, as an Adventure Force branded product, the Arsenal X can be found on Walmart.com. This week, it has been in and out of stock, but I will have a link in my description, and by the time you see it, it'll probably be available. So that was all the nerf news I have for today. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these new blasters. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe for more, and happy blasting.